A sudden heat wave had cast itself over the island of Soda one day. By the fifth day, it had long passed its welcome to the engines. Engine. These summer days are nice and all that, but going to the point where roasting is something that happens first thing in the morning is not okay. Oh, knock it off already, Henry. I have just as much trouble in this heat as you. Have you ever tried hauling 30 trucks over Gordon's Hill at my size? Exactly, I didn't think so. You two should just both stow it. You two are not going to gain anything by arguing like children. Besides, I'm the only one who does any work around here, so you two don't have a say. Oh, here we go again. Hey, you're not the one pulling slow goods today. Boss, this is the best! Oh, shut up, the lot of you. It's bad enough that these sheds are all stuffy now, but you steam horses wheezing and groaning isn't helping matters. Even I suffer in this heat, but do I complain? No. Now let's just get out of here. Besides, a diesel such as myself would never make such a scene about the weather as you steam engines. Aside from diesel's blatant the engine all agreed it would be best to move on. When by one, they all hastily left the sheds, ready to start another burning day. Okay. Henry grumbled around the station's throat. throat. As he backed into the platform, he took in the sight of all the wing passengers. Just then, suddenly, one of the passengers yeah. collapsed. What the? What just happened there, driver? Is he okay? Don't worry. The station master on shift knows CPR. But that's what we humans call a heat stroke, Henry. Heat stroke? Uh, what's that? Well, it's when one's exposed to the heat too long for copious amounts of time, which eventually causes them to faint. Most time it's due to the environment or lack of water. Oh boy, how's my water tank doing? <laughs> That'll never happen to you, Henry. I hope not. Diesel, meanwhile, was trying to cope himself with the heat. His outing visit to the diesel work was approaching, but the heat wave was not helping his current condition. Hey, Diesel. Y you okay over there, pal? I'm well, thank you. These are your cars, James. Though I wish the water tower wasn't clogged, I need a top-off of coolant for my engine. It was then that Diesel's manager arrived. Ah, uh, Diesel, we've got bad news up the line. We need to send the works train to Henry's tunnel. There's a tree down on the line, and I doubt James wants to have a second encounter with one. Indeed, Mom. Uh... Take Rocky with you. This one's quite big. Afternoon, Dennis. How's life in the yards? Tiring. This heat isn't helping matters. You're telling me, mate. Any more of this, and my engine might fry if I run out of coolant for my engine. What do you use as coolant? We diesels actually use water as our coolant, and the type they use for cars would actually damage our engines. Well, good luck with that. The heat's getting stronger by the minute. Bye, Henry. Henry. Come on, let's get moving. Are you sure you're able to continue, Diesel? You don't sound too good. 
I'm fine. Just need to get a grip, that's all. At Crovin's gate, the stage master was waving a red flag. Henry and his driver were quite confused at this. What's going on? This is a fast train, not a slow goods. Sorry fellows, but Diesel's broken down up ahead, ran out of coolant, and his engine has been fried. Can you take him and his train as far as Marin? Shunt him by the water tower so he can be cooled off. I see no problem as to why not. Henry found Diesel on his train two miles from the tunnel. Class of Wraith had dried himself out, and was quite dry in the throat about it. Well, Diesel, what's all this? Not being very efficient, I see. You know, Dennis said that having cooling was important for safe running, but it seems to your driver that you forgot to top off. So what of it, you green cat, whatever you are? <laughs> well, one could say that you've had a heat stroke, but engines aren't supposed to get heat strokes, so you've at least proved something, right? You've proved how hard it is to be a diesel. Henry laughed away, leaving Diesel seething in baffled fury. Well, well, well now, what to do with you?